anyway, let's move on, child. I got to talk about DJ Academics and his dumb ass. Co- this, you know, oh God. this motherfucker. Okay. So he gets on his little platform or whatever. Cause you know, he does his little lives or, or twitches or whatever you want. I don't know what the hell you want to call that shit, but he talks about older rappers and he says essentially that, you know, a lot of these old rappers are broke and dusty and that they don't, they're not pioneers of hip hop to which LL Cool J made his video talking about, you know, in response to what he had to say and rightfully so, like you literally wouldn't have a career if us broken dusties didn't pave the way. Like if there wasn't for these old rappers that you talk about, there would not be hip hop today. There, you wouldn't have a play. You would be talking about fucking heavy metal and, and freaking pop music. You, you get what I'm saying? Like there wouldn't be rappers that are making millions of dollars if it wasn't for the ones that had to pave the way. And I love what LL Cool J said in regards to, you know, there was no plan for us. Like we literally came in the game. There was nothing like this. There was no genre like hip hop. They didn't give us a 10 year plan. They didn't give us the funding and the backing or whatever that, that these labels do now. And they were shady as hell back then too, because there was a lot of shady business going on with the labels when it came to like 360 deals and stuff like that. So it was a different time. And of course, you, you know, these people, they weren't, they weren't making, they didn't make the money that they, that was definitely earned like a LL Cool J or whoever else you want to talk about. So to sit on your platform as a hip hop correspondent, as a hip hop commentator that is supposed to know this shit, you get out your mouth and say that they're not pioneer. Fuck, fuck, bro. Fuck saying that they're broke, whatever. Fine. Okay. You want to shit on them because they broke? Fine. But to say that they're not pioneers, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's stupid. Like it's, it's complete malarkey. Like it, it, I don't know, child. <laughs> I seriously don't know. I, I, I don't know. They give everybody, they give any and everybody a platform when they say a lot of buzzwords and, you know, DJ academics is known for saying things that's completely outlandish, completely wrong, false, fraudulent, and you guys will eat it up because he's, you know, basically essentially like dog whistling everything that you're talking that people say on the internet, toxic people. He's not smart. Like he's not like, it's kind of embarrassing that we have hip hop commentators that, that, that speak. And he had, and he is all the success that he had with his run of whatever he does, you know, I would like to think I would like to I wonder how Joe Budden feels about it because I know he's friends with Joe Budden like how does he feel about this because he's an old rapper you get what I'm saying like he was he was not during those times but he definitely was a, a, a rapper back in the day like it's just weird I, I it's it's he's he's very much it's word vomit when it comes to DJ academics and he does not think before he talks and I think that has to do with like the whole thing of being being on live and the reason why I'm kind of not on live either because I feel like when you're live and you see that, you know, numbers are going up, numbers are fluctuating. And I'm not trying to say that this is, this is how DJ, cause look, he has, he has, he has a lot of following. Okay. So he doesn't have to worry about views, but I can understand how, you know, I gotta get, I gotta get, I want to get 10, I want to get 10 K people up in here. I want to get 20 K people up in here. Let me say the most outlandish, stupidest shit. That's going to get people that's going to draw people's attention. I was just talking about this with another creator. It's just like drama is what sells on social media. That's what keeps people on social media drama. And I think that he's doing all this. I don't even think some, some of these creators, I really be thinking like they don't believe the things that they say. I can never be like that. I can never. And, and, and if I do, if I, if I, if I start to look like I'm being like that, please subscribers hold me the fuck accountable. Okay. Curse me out in this damn comments. You've got my absolute permission. I can never talk about things that I just do not think is true. Just, just for, just for some buzzwords, just so it can get put on the shade room and everybody reposted it. And so I, I, you know, I'm, I'm too real for that shit. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I'm too real to be, to be talking about some dumb shit like that. So DJ academics, you, yo ass. Mm. Anyway, when are they going to have, when are they going to start holding him accountable? <laughs> okay. <laughs>